Hello, welcome to my world today. <laughs> Let's do a full face of makeup for a woman over 60. So, as you see, I have um, embraced my white hair. Uh, not that I would call it a full embrace <laughs> because, you know, sometimes I look at myself and I think, you know, I could color my hair, but you see how white it is. I mean, as soon as I color it within days, it needs to be touched up again because I used like an auburn color. So, oh, I'm just praying I can get used to it. But anyway, I'm going to start with the VFX Pro today. We have a VFX Primer that is wonderful too but the pro gives you just a little bit of an iridescent look especially if you've got dry and dull skin um you might want to try this i go between both of them they're both actually really nice you see all my sun damage from years of being in the sun uh, is showing up bright and happy today <laughs> so <laughs> as the old saying goes it is what it is so I'm gonna use 10 today, 10, it, 10 in South Carolina. 10 is, um, it is a neutral color that's good if you've got a warm undertone, you've got a light suntan, um, it does really good. Um, but if you need a color match, just contact me at marty29732 at gmail.com. I'll put that in the comments. Or you can, uh, I'll also put where you can find me on Facebook and um, you can contact me there. And I'll be glad to do a color match for you. I just need a picture of you in natural sunlight, like facing a window that's got sun coming through it and um, with no makeup. And I like a picture of you from here up because that kind of tells me what skin tone you are. And it's great if you let me know if you sunburn easily or you tan easily. Like me, I sunburn easily the first time I'm out there, but then I tan. But I just need to know when you first go into the sun. Now, I tend to take my foundation all the way down my neck. And there I need a little bit more. I must have wiped too hard there. Or blended a little too hard, let me say. Now, if you have bags under your eyes, or you have fine lines or wrinkles, or wrinkles on your face that you just want to cover up, I tend to do this after I put my foundation on because, um, you know, when you're using your found, putting your foundation on, you're rubbing around a good bit. And uh, this holds for six to eight hours. Uh, it is in our age reverses line. It is a, comes in a little packet. And if you have bags under your eyes, you just place this on the bags, look straight ahead, and do not like, don't be talking like I am. Just give it about one to two minutes to settle in and just look straight. You know, don't, don't be doing all this other stuff. I'm gonna put, I've got a wrinkle, a big wrinkle here. I'm gonna put some on. And some people put it on after they put all their makeup on. I don't really recommend that because unless you are very light-handed, you can put on too much and it'll be like a little flake, I mean a little white residue on your skin. So I tend to say do it, you know, after, uh, after your foundation and before your, the rest of your makeup. But, now, once you start using it, you can, once, I've got something in here to keep this from being too low. Um, once you use it, you can feel it within 30 seconds, maybe. Like, I can feel it cooling. I can feel it starting to pull. <laughs> Don't laugh. Okay. 
And then you can take, and I know this is a ugly old little fan, but my mama got it for me at a little summer fest thing. They were giving them away for free, and I don't know, it's just precious to me, so I keep using it. Maybe I should bejewel it and bedazzle it. <laughs> but you can take a fan and dry it. But if you have bags under your eyes, it will get rid of them. I mean, you'll be surprised how much they shrink. And you know, that night you're gonna have them again, but it will be such a treat for you when you do your makeup to have that area uh, in the background more, okay? If they bother you, only if they bother you. Okay, so I have my foundation on. You'll see I didn't use a ton of foundation. I don't like a lot of foundation. Um, now I'm going to put my eyeshadow primer on. This is $10.90. It is a deal, a deal, a deal. If you want it for half of that, just go join my team and I'll put that information on at www.makeupwithmarty.com. I'll put that information in the description, <clears throat> scroll to the bottom of the page and click, you know, apply to become a beauty influencer. And you'll be surprised, you just go right through it. You can put things in your cart for 50% off. You don't have to have any uh, certain amount every month. You don't have any monthly minimums, nothing like that. Just after six months, if you haven't bought $125 at 50% off, then you just have to resign and rejoin again for the, to get, keep the 50%. I mean, it's a win-win. You don't have to stock product, nothing. Now look, as I'm putting on this eyeshadow primer, it covers up like little redness and fine lines and things, but I'm doing it with a light hand because I already have this serum on to kind of help with um, my hooded lids because it will tighten that up too. Now, if you use this every day and you get 30 packs in a box, if you use it every day, um, you do get residual results from it over time. Um, I got um in my mouth today a lot. But I will tell you, when I was doing makeovers, I every time I used this on one of my ladies over 60, that was the first thing they put in their box. So get you some. Just get you some. Get a drink real quick. Now I'm going to go in with, uh, I'm going to do my eyes now. Um, I usually put on my foundation. I don't know why, because they say don't do that first, but I've obviously not followed the rules all my life, which I don't really think makeup has any rules, you know. Okay, so that is a, just a light shade to go on above my, on my lid. Then I'm gonna use another shade, which is kind of ashy called Sable because I'm a pink undertone, so I'm gonna stay in the ashy family. I'm not gonna go into a real warm eyeshadow because it's not gonna work with my skin tone. I mean, it's just not. I'm gonna put a little espresso right here, which is a dark, dark, ashy brown. Um, wow, I didn't realize how dark it was, but that's fine. And then I'm gonna blend it up because remember, you can turn things like that into happy accidents, as Bob used to say. <laughs> now, I've blended in the first color. I'm gonna take that second color, Sable, and I'm just gonna do circles with it right here and just start blending that. And yes, it looks dark, but it looks even darker on my end because 
I have to have my um, lights pretty high for you to be able to see the makeup. It's really odd when you do these videos. Okay. Now I'm gonna take a blending brush. Ta-da! You can find these in our um, on my website. And I'm just going to blend that out. This is a nice soft brush and it blends so well. But I'm gonna blend that out. I'm using like a little medium shadow and a little lighter shadow mixed together. And this is a Lorac Pro palette. I don't even know if they make it anymore, but I'll put it in the comments just so you can, if you wanna to try to find it. Unless I tell you different, everything I use is pharmacy, but I do use some different eyeshadow palettes sometimes because I like, you know, I like to have a, uh, maybe more than one or two eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> And I don't even use that much eyeshadow anymore. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with like a nude, maybe this one. It's just a little shimmer color. I'm not gonna put it on my finger because I don't want it to be like way in your face, but I'm gonna put it on with a pretty dense little brush and just kind of blend that out. I have to open that eye to see what it looks like because one of my contacts sees up close and one sees far away. You know what I mean? Now, you may not be like me. You may not have all the white hair that I do, but I'm naturally pale anyway. I mean, I'm just pale. And um, so for me, I definitely need more color on my face than I used to when I had the darker hair. So, <laughs> I rarely did my makeup then, but I'm doing it more now because, uh, girls, I ha I would just be wa totally washed out. Okay, so let's map this eyebrow. We're going to go right beside our nose right there. Right here is going to be the arch. And right here, the edge, is going to be the end. Okay. So I'm gonna just start working that in. And filling in the lines. Let me move, I don't need it quite that high. And then filling in this line. And we're gonna clean up, so don't even worry about all anything that's outside the line. I'll show you how to clean all that up. Okay, look at the difference that eyebrow makes. Just, if if you don't do, like if I could only pick one thing to do when I went out, if I go out, if I could only pick one thing, it would be my eyebrows because your eyebrows frame, frame your face. And as you mature, um, your eyebrows can sometimes thin. So, do your eyebrows because you see just the lifted look I get when I have the eyebrows done. It's just amazing. So I take our eyebrow pencil. And draw that in. Now, if I'm not careful, this eyebrow will look bigger than the other eyebrow because we all know they're not symmetrical anyway. Okay. See there, see how quickly, quickly that went? That happens if I don't and I have to watch it and I have to balance it with just a little bit underneath. But all that's okay, we can do all that. I tell you, I had, I had to get up this morning. My husband's got two funerals to go to tomorrow. And him, him a pair of pants. 
because he had to get a new suit. His old suit was no longer was no longer going to work for him. And so I hemmed his pants and everything. And uh, I loved it. I just love getting get my sewing shop every day. And I've got a sewing channel. I'll put it in the comments for you, too, in the description. I just love to sew. I mean, I love to sew. I wish I could just put everything on this channel and just, just be done with it. But I don't know. For some reason, that doesn't seem to please people. I don't know. Who knows? Who, I don't even think it matters. You know? I don't know. Let me go back and do my eyes real quick. Now, I don't want a real harsh, like a black. You do you. If you want black, go with black. But I'm going to use like a metallic brown right here. And I'm going to line my eyes, but then I'm going to blend it down. Because I don't want a harsh line, but because of my really pale features, I need something there, you know? So I'm going right into the eyelashes. I'm not doing a real thick line. Just a line like that. And then I'm gonna take my finger and I'm going to blend that line. So that it's still there, it's just not quite as harsh as it was. And I'm going to do a little bit right here. Same thing here. Okay. Because the, the thicker the line is, the more of your lid space you're going to take up. And the older you get, sometimes that skin sags a little. So you want to take up as little as you can. And now when I'm in a hurry and I'm hanging around the house, I don't always do my uh, liner. But... Like, even when I'm hanging around the house now, I typically put on even a little bit of makeup because I need it. <laughs> I mean, I just love it. I remember the first guy I really dated seriously. I went by his work one day and didn't have on any makeup. And my hair was lighter then, too. And he looked at me and he said, are you sick? <laughs> so, that tells you anything. It's just, I'm just like an albino, I think. <laughs> Not quite, but really close to it. Now, let's see here. Because I covered up a little of that eye right here. When I smudged it, I just want to go back in and open that up a little. With just a light white and tan powder. And that shimmer's still showing through, so that's fine. Okay, now, I'm going to take my OO concealer. I use OO and O1 for different things, but this OO is really a bright, light concealer. And and by the way, if you happen to see this today, which is uh, May the 29th, uh, Memorial Day 2023, um, we have a special for if you order $75 or more, you get free shipping. So um, if you're interested in these products, you might want to get in on that. You know, here I go again. Can't find the brush I want. So we're just going to use this one because I'm not going to keep y'all. I know every time I say, I should, I should, um, do, have everything perfect, but I tend to lay things where they don't go. Okay. 
Now, that just lifts the eye a little. That's all that does, it just lifts that eye. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's put on, uh, I'm gonna use our brow wax today. It is, I never thought I would use brow wax. I'm just gonna be honest with you, I did not. But when I tried this stuff, I could not believe what a difference it made. So I'm just brushing my brows up. I put mine on after I have my brows done instead of before. And then I... And you know, if I, if I brush any of my brow stuff off, I just replace it. But I like to have the majority of my brows on before I put that wax on because it holds it all day long. It's like a, it's beautiful. <laughs> get you some. And you get a nice size. And this used to be $29.90, but now it's $19.90. It's a little smaller, but it's actually easier to handle. So there's that. You know, if I... <sighs> This is, this is where I need to stop, and I, I'm not going to, but I'm going to do just a little bit of a dark color right here where that crease would be, and just work that up because I don't feel like I have a defined crease. You don't necessarily need a defined crease, but... I really want to get all my bang for the buck today. <laughs> I, why. I do not know why. Okay, now let's do, I'm gonna do just a little bit of a blended, what's left on that brush underneath. Underneath there. And then we're gonna clean that up, so. No worries. Now, this is where I use the O1. Okay. And some people go in and they do a really cute little look right here, but I'm going to be honest with you, sometimes I'm just three swipes under my eye and that's, I'm going with it, you know. Then, I'm going to take this brush, this little concealer brush, this concealer brush and I'm going to work it up and then pull it up like that to clean that eye up and to just give that upward lift. And it also brightens underneath your eyes, and that's always wonderful. Okay, then I'm going to put some here and here and here. And right down the center of my nose as a highlight. And no, it's not perfect, but I'm gonna blend it, so we'll be okay. Do you have to do all this when you do your makeup? No, you sure don't. But you can, because makeup just creates illusions. And I'm just kind of putting some color on. Then I'm highlighting parts of my face. Do you see how that suddenly kind of sticks out at you? If you do what I just did, you go back just with a touch of dark, a light brown, and put that back in there because that's a natural shadow and you don't want to take that away from your face because then you lose something you didn't want to lose, okay? Now, let's do 
some eyelashes. And I'm just gonna do our mascara today, but I'm gonna use our eyelash primer that I love. And I don't know, as I've gotten a little more mature, a little older, the uh, my eyelashes don't curl up as much anymore. So for the first time in my life, I think more than ever before I use an eyelash curler. Okay. Our eyelash primer. Can't say enough about it, girls. Can't say enough about it. It's like, I want to say it's like a little light glue, but it's not. But it really helps um, define your lashes, gives them a little more volume, stays in place all day. I mean, what's not to like about that? You ever do that you're doing one thing and you see something you do something else i do it all the time uh, if you're not familiar with pharmacy these products are uh, made in turkey they are with the european standards and uh, they are cruelty free vegan free gluten free i think in the majority of them and um, <laughs> they're vegan, not vegan free. Um, and the prices you cannot beat, especially, I mean, you can't beat them really, even if you're paying full price, but when you can join for $19.99, I mean, it is amazing. Like I said, if you need a color match, just shoot me a photo and I'll be happy to do it. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do for the mascara today, but look at that, I mean, it just, it, it's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of our transparent, transparent powder on. I won't call it translucent, but it's transparent. It's a white powder. It doesn't change the color of your makeup, but what it does is when I start putting powders on my face, it's gonna give them something to blend into so that it's not gonna drag on my face because you don't want your makeup dragging. Have you ever done that when you go to put something on and it just kind of and you just see not a nice smooth line, but a, a wicked line. <laughs> <laughs> with marks all in it. This is our peach palette. We have incredible contour and highlighting sticks. They are on a warm, they are really made for people with warm tones though. If you tan easily, this is gonna be fabulous for you. But me, I'm not, I'm not a warm tone, I'm a cool tone. This is an ashy peach color. And it does really good for adding a little color, um, adding some of my uh, shadows back to my face for contouring with. So we're just going to use this. You see, <laughs> boom, boom, you see that? Here's my cheekbone. If you don't know where your cheekbone is, just roll up till you feel it there. You'll feel that brush kind of stop. And I go just a shadow above it, just a hair above it. Because I'm lifting that face. Let's look at this. Look at this side of my face compared to this one even. Do you see how it's starting to contour that face? I used to think contour was so hard. But it's not. It's really not. Now, when I contour, I go all the way down. 
because I want to hide this, so I'm going to make it darker. Because nobody's looking under there anyway. All right, let's get the rest of this face done. And I typically just blend upward because I'm telling you, the more upward you do things, the better for that more mature look, you know? Okay, I'm gonna take a smaller brush and very lightly, as Bob used to say, two hairs and some air. I'm going to bring that ashy color down the side of my nose and right here, there's a natural shadow there. When you put your foundation on, you blend that out and it becomes like this, just bland. Do you see how this looks a little more lifted? Put that natural shadow back in there. And if you have a really long nose and you want to shorten it, you can put a little line here. You can put a little dot here. You know, there's all kinds of things you can do to, you see, <laughs> to um, give you that look. But if you put a little dot there, put two right here because it just forms this triangle that really helps the eye, you know, when the eye's checking you out. Then I'm going to take um, this blush, Modern Ballet. It's like a peachy pink blush. It's peachy pink, okay? I'm gonna say more on the pink side, but it's got the pink in it that I love. So I'm just gonna go into that. Now again, because I am bland, I'm gonna put some color here. No, I don't do this, all of this every day. I'm gonna put a little on here because I wanna look like I've been out in the sun some. And look what we've got. We've got this where all of the attention's going here and we love that. We love it. That's not what I want. We have our highlighting powder, well, our finishing powder. Y'all, you know, a lot of ladies think because <clears throat> they're a little more mature, they can't use this. This stuff is finely, 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 finely ground. It's not going to cause any issue with your um, wrinkles. Now, typically, I should have put this on just a few minutes earlier, but I didn't. It's okay that I made that big mess there. So I can always go back with a little blush. We're gonna let that bake a minute. And I'll start my lips, look at that. See how fine that is. Now we're gonna let that bake, which means we're just gonna let it come to our skin temperature. It's gonna kind of melt into everything and then it's gonna be gone, but it's gonna leave a beautiful lasting impression. Beautiful. And you know, you think, well, I don't want to do all that. You don't have to. You can do none. You can do whatever you like. But I just wanted you to see what a full face of makeup, how it can change, especially if you're, if you got the gray going on or the white, you know, um, and you're not, like, you don't have real dark features. People with real dark features don't have this problem <laughs> like I do. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and put on a little bit of um, lip liner. This is our number 219. I'm drawing just at the top of the lip and halfway off of the lip line.
to make my lips appear a little fuller. And then one lip line down. I mean, one lip liner down. Right at the bottom. You see how my lips already look fuller? <laughs> okay. Now, we're just gonna take this brush and we're gonna fluff this away. You're thinking, well, that's light. Hang on, hang on, girls, hang on. But look at that. Do you see this brightness that's starting to appear? I mean, it's good, girls. It's really good. Okay, then if you're concerned about things moving on your face, you can spray your finger with the time locker spray. You can do this after any creams like condition, like concealers you put on, powders you put on, anything, because this is gonna set it and it's not gonna move on your face. It's not gonna accumulate your fine lines and wrinkles. Um, and you know, make sure you have your face washed and moisturized and, and prepared. You gotta prep that face, but. Now, I'm going to jump right back into my blush just a little bit because I did. Get into it a little bit of that powder. And I'm going, this is our secret deal. This is the thing. I'm using 03 of our face perfecting powder. You're thinking, oh no, not another powder. These things are so fine. Look at that, that they don't, like make your skin dull and like drab, but look what it does. I'm just pressing it in. Look at this side compared to this side. It just makes it look like it's airbrushed. Girls, girls. Okay, setting spray. Use generously. It's like hairspray for your face, but it's not hairspray. Don't use hairspray on your face. It's not made for your face. Now let's finish up this lip. I am not one of those, I don't like, um, and there's nothing wrong if you do like it. I don't like um, my lip liner to match my lipstick. Because basically, what's, why, why? Because I, why would I do all that work and um, then you can't see it? <laughs> you know, I forgot to powder my nose. Now, unconventional as I am, this is our O2 cream concealer for under your eyes if you wanna hide black, dark, blue bags. I mean, dark circles under your eye. You put this O2 cream concealer on it and it will neutralize that darkness. And then you go in with the time locker spray, then you do your foundation, then you do your concealer, each step, do a little bit of this on your finger. You'll be amazed how it's going to get rid of that black, that dark shadow. And what it is, it's just that your thin, your skin is thin there and the blood vessels are showing through. So it's no big deal. But I also like to use this as a highlighter <laughs> for my lips. Isn't that cute? And then I love to use just a splash. Of 
coral baby. And boom, there we go. Now, see, now white hair works better <laughs> for me <laughs> because I've added some color and some contour to my face and she's looking a lot better. That wasn't blended in real well. I can see it from here. So let me tap that a little bit more with this perfecting powder. Because the light's shining on it. It won't look like that when the light's off. Let's see. Well, it does look like that. <laughs> I think I got a little too much on there, girls. I'm not beyond pulling something off. Now, when that settles back down from the redness, we'll be good to go. <laughs> I think I put too much of the blush on there. Well, you know, we can't all be perfect. We can just strive to be that way. I hope you have a fabulous day, a fabulous Memorial Day. And if you're watching this on a day that's not Memorial Day, I hope you have a wonderful day. Y'all, I'm still learning to embrace this hair. So I'm going to tell you to embrace who you are, but believe me, I know the struggles. <laughs> I love you. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.